So I had very little difficulty hiking off the mountain back to Daleville. Like the fifth car picked me up. Um, had dinner with a bunch of hikers I haven't seen in about a week, which is cool. Like nice little, I guess, send off. It was just good to see the faces before I had to get off the trail for a couple weeks. And now I'm heading over to the truck stop, trying my luck in a ride up north in a big rig. Hopefully it won't be that hard because I'm right at 81 North and if I can get a ride from there, I can take me pretty much straight to Philadelphia. So let's give it a shot. I'm Dayman. I was born yeah. in San Diego, California. Shortly after, I moved to San Leandro, California. And then shortly after that, I moved to Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And shortly after that, so Montana moved to like Hingham, Massachusetts. About 10 years living there. Moved to Chapel, North Carolina. And after that, went to college in Virginia Tech. Not too far from here, and now I'm living in San Diego, California. Being in the wilderness, enjoying people, here with friends, new friends, and everything. so hard. It's not like. It, it was, it like was an opportunity to better like, myself. I could use those two weeks. And really I think there will be more opportunities in the future. Right. right. We're in yeah. Southwest Virginia, the greatest yeah. place in the country. Yeah. Uh, it's hard Daleville. Because sometimes you like um, get everything like rolling. This is a pretty big town. It's a serious town. There's a lot of food. We're eating my first, I drank my first margarita at the trip. And there's really nothing you Life can do about it. You can't get it. You're going to be um, one of my last interviews on the trail since I'm going on hiatus for a few weeks. How do you feel about that? Tech, I haven't known you long. But I'm sorry to see anyone go. You know that. You know? We're a big family here. I hope the best for you. And, but it does sad me, and I hope to see you in Pennsylvania. Trail name's Orion, and I'm from uh, Central Virginia. And tell me what brings you out on the trail. I don't know, I mean, it's a hard question, but uh, I feel like the trail kind of called me out here. And uh, probably more for like spiritual healing and just coming out here and just enjoying life, and understanding what it is to be on the trail. The enemy behind me was the uh, trail magic that I got about a week and a half ago. We came down off of um, Chestnut Knob. We were up Chestnut Knob. We walked down, it was probably about 4 o'clock. Walked down to Walker Gap. And uh, this old boy, country boy, Virginia boy, drives by in his truck. He's got rusted out wheels around the truck. And uh, he stops, gets out, looks at us, walks around to his cooler, pulls out a couple Keystone lights, and he hands us to us, and you guys want some beer? Like, yeah. So we get to talking for a while, and then he's like, oh, how do you guys feel about staying in the cabin tonight? And we're like, yes. It's like, all right, well, let me let me uh, kidnap one of you guys. We'll go back to my house, get some more beer. We'll take you to the cabin. So I ride with them. But we all look at each other funny, like, who's going to ride with this guy? And I was like, all right, I'll do it. So I rode with them. I took a shower. We came back. They were all still there. He took us up to a cabin. We had four fishing poles in the back of his car. So we went fishing. We caught in a private pond on this private land, caught four trout, filleted them, grilled them up, cooked them, and then there was a bunch of weed, and uh, he had maybe 24, 30 beers, half gallon of whiskey, and some other uh, interesting things, and uh, we pretty much partied until about 2.30 in the morning at this random ass cabin in the middle of Virginia, so it's pretty awesome. That's good trail magic.